I'm a firm believer this is a medieval torture device. In all seriousness, this bed is not for us. And I don't know what it is, but it's like laying on a piece of plywood. I've walked on this thing. I've done everything possible I know to get it starting to break in, and it won't. It was supposed to be a medium, and I think it turned out to be a firm. Thankfully, the good people over at Big Sandy, because of the stain that was on it that y'all seen, they allowed us to change it out. I've got to go tomorrow and pick up a purple. And that one really only seemed to be the one that we liked because both of us was having pressure point issues and we was thinking this was a little too firm. I was waking up with circles on my hips, like big red blotches where it was sore. But now with that being said, I know the last video, Little mama's in there changing Chloe, so we can't include her in this right now. But I remember, I know y'all in the last video remember little mama saying that we had this huge surprise. Listen, guys, this was a surprise to us. It's still like, it's really not sunk in. I'm just gonna say this Doug. He said thank you. Nothing like this has ever happened to us. It warmed my heart and it let me know there's a lot of good people still out there. Like, I, I literally, I don't know what to say about this. Y'all are going to see, I know. <sighs> Somebody has destroyed their room. Yep, and it's getting straightened up today, too. Oh, boy. Uh, we got another room we got to do first, though. Oh, we got two rooms. We Can we talk rooms. about the mess you made in one room? But we got a chore ahead of us. We've not had many dressers. Closet space is kind of limited. That Colton's bedroom doesn't have a closet. Our bedroom just has this tiny closet that seems to be where all the blankets go. And then Chloe's room turned into a clothing. I guess this is where little mama decides she wants to fold clothes. Kimmy left her air mattress here. Yeah. And that's normal. If you say it's not normal, everybody has a messy room in their house. Even if their entire house is clean, it's it's cluttered. It's not nasty. So let's just keep that in mind. But we have to clean this up. We've got to move those dressers in here and in Bubba's room. Got to make room for something. Pretty snazzy in here. I forgot to show y'all group. You like your bedroom, bud? I got a vacuum it for you. I thought so. Whoa, where'd that come from? Oh, oh is your little bed gone, Moo Moo? Mm -hmm. Is your little bed gone? Now you ain't got nothing to roll around on. Buddy, you gonna have a dresser in here. Ah. It's gonna feel even more like a bedroom. All right, I gotta get the vacuum. Where's she going? I gotta get the vacuum. You know what? Y'all, this is an amazing vacuum cleaner. Yes, it is. It's uh, not paid, nothing. We bought this with our own money just to, and we didn't even buy it to review, but this vacuum cleaner is, awesome. is a boss. It likes, it's hard to push. Because the vacuum literally sucks itself to the floor. It's probably the best vacuum we ever owned. We went and it's the wind tunnel something, something. It's a Hoover, I don't know. Look at this cord. It will literally stretch halfway across this house. There's not a single room. Like, she can plug it in yeah, in that one really, bedroom and it'll reach this bedroom too. It, it's got a really good plumbing cord. Okay, I need you to get the children. Come here. Mama got vacuum. So I got one of them. Bring the other one. Where are we going? Where are we going? Where are we going? Where are we going? Why are we going over here? What, you showing me outside? Yeah, this. We got a water leak, y'all. I don't know if y'all remember Jamie. He was the one that started our property project down here. We've got him coming up here. He's gonna dig us a whole new water line. And we're gonna put a line inside of a line. We're gonna get a bigger pipe than thread the actual water line through it. That way, if we ever have another water line break, all we gotta do is pull the pipe out. We don't have to dig our yard up again. Hey, neat, neat, neat. Neat, neat, neat. About to get mad. Nah, nah, nah. Mama's in there cleaning. Come here. Come here. Nah, 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 nah. Nah, nah. Hey, you little ball legged baby. Come here. 
You're not running off, little girls. Yes, that's the core. Hey, you, you can't go either. Now what? I'm blocking you, wait. Did you raid the closet? Hey, you want me, Bubba, you want me to turn your TV on? Turn it on. What do you want to watch? What you got going on, bud? Load it up. Hey, I got you a present. Thank you so much. Just what I wanted. Just what I wanted. It's my fault though, listen y'all. You guys see. My house stays clean. Never dirty dishes. I mean, right after dinner, but I do them. Toilet, like I, every other day I clean it. My bathroom sink. My <sighs> laundry is my kryptonite. Like, I, it's just, it's that, that one house cleaning, doing chore that defeats me. Laundry defeat, it's never ending. I can get to the bottom, and I'm telling you, by the next day, there's three or four dirty towels. Me and Sean's two different, I mean, it's just like, the laundry defeats me, and I don't know why. My sweet mother, while she was here, uh, I tried to get my niece, I was like, I'll pay you to do the laundry. Well, it was the holidays, so she was all over the place, you know. Mom's like, I'll do it, and I'm like, Mom, no. And when we went on the day day, <laughs> she'd done a couple loads for me. Like, my house is always clean, but honey, I do the laundry, but folding it and getting it hung up, <clears throat> it's my kryptonite. I mean, that's my weakness. That's, what do you call it? I'm claiming my, my bull crap. What are you doing? You pulling everything out of the drawers, little girl. Why are you causing trouble? You know, I bet there's like 40 passies under here. I see one right now. Over there is two under the crib. We can no nonsense find 10 passies Put them up, and by the end of the day, we can't find a single passive. If, if we ain't got 50 pacifiers in this house, I'll kiss Sean's behind. I'm telling you, every time we turn around, we have to buy passes. We figured out something Colton was doing. The garbage can lid's been left up here lately, and because the tap broke, so it's just easier to try to pick it up, just leave it up. Noticed he's been tossing things in the garbage, and I think he's been tossing most of the passes. I don't think. I know. I've already fished two of them out of there and had to sterilize them again. You doing laundry, buddy? <coughs> hey, you're doing better than mama. You getting it done, son. <coughs> oh, that's your laundry? You having fun, no? <coughs> I told you, chaos. What are you doing? Well, I figured while we wait, I would put Chloe's bed together. Okay, this is... Can we, yeah. This, the others we've had are nowhere near this complicated. <laughs> yeah, this is not, um, like, ours like or it The others is, like, two of them that you put together. And you, this you have to assemble the whole thing! <sighs> Well, I ordered it, so my bad. So we're getting somewhere, you guys. I got all the clothes folded. Got another load in the dryer, one in the washer. And we will be emptying. The, see, that big closet, all four of us are trying to share it, and it's not working. We're, we're overflowed. So I guess that's why it's defeated me with the laundry. But in here is going to be emptied out. So we can definitely, I'm thinking clear almost all of that out because we're going to be putting it and I mean the overflow that's in the floor is going to go in that closet so and we'll have extra dressers so I'm hoping the clothes situation will be over today yay I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let you mind your business and, and concentrate and do your thing I'm like still trying to figure out why this has to be as complicated as what it is for a simple which it I mean it may be more sturdy than it may not be I don't know I I know those gorilla frames we get are really good, but I don't know about this. Okay, so we finally got the dressers and stuff out. The kids took a nap, so we just 
quietly allowed them to do that because we can track where the driver's at. We're number eight, and I think he's only on number five, so we let them get their naps out so they wouldn't be super grouchy. But anyways, the mirror for this is up in the shop. We didn't put it in our room because, like I said, we were looking at furniture and got very blessed. So now we can go get the mirror and put it back on, but I'm going to paint it. I've got paint and sealer. I'm gonna paint both. Anyhow, let me finish this first. We got, Colton gets the big dresser. He's got his room. And Chloe now has the tall dresser and the nightstand because Colton has the little table, the little table in his bedroom. So that stash of clothes will be gone once the dresser gets here and the other closet gets emptied out. So the, all of these, um, these two and the other dresser in Colton's room are gonna be painted white. Sealed up. Very good. Hi. It's a good fuzzy head. So it's almost time. Ah. Hi, big guy. Don't ah. Is that a... <laughs> you are goofy. You goofy girl. Ah. He's been doing that, you guys. This new little show he's into, Little People. He's been doing that. He'll go up to the TV and talk to them and babble to them and laugh when they laugh and clap when they do. It's so cute. He's starting to interact, even though it is just with the TV. But him and Chloe are starting to interact a lot more, too. I think him having a CC has really helped him out, huh? Yeah. Yeah, it has. I think she's going to be his guardian for life. You gonna be Bubba's guardian? But I'm so happy that our furniture is almost here. And again, Doug, thank you so much from the bottom of our hearts. That was such a kind thing for you to do. And we are so thankful and appreciative. It allowed us to bless somebody else as well. If we would have gotten it, money would have been a lot tighter. But because of that, it allowed us to pay it forward and bless somebody else as well. Hopefully, that positive energy just keeps flowing and keeps moving through people. And it keeps circulating and rotating. At this point, I've got to go in here and uh, move a few things around in Chloe's crib. And we got to break down the old frame for our, our old bed and get that out of the way. We want the bedroom to be clear when they, just the mattress, but they'll be taking that with them, the old ones. And then we're all set. We are ready for them to pop in and deliver the furniture. This is what I'm talking about. <laughs> are you guys having a good time? You just hanging out, playing dinosaurs, watching the, <laughs> watching the Grinch. I tell you. We tried 10 years for Colton, most of y'all know that. And we had given up. We just accepted the fact we probably weren't ever gonna have kids and then boom, pregnant with Bubba. And that, now I definitely thought since it took us 10 years to have him that, you know, if it took us another 10, we'd be way too old. So how blessed are we? And how blessed are they to have each other? They're a year and a half, oh wait, they're two years apart. Two years and two months apart, so. They will live long, good lives together and hopefully be best friends. <laughs> this chick is excited. Yes, I am. They, I think they had to go turn. I'm praying. Mm -hmm. Y'all, we can see the main road uh, up here. <laughs> so we can see the cars going by. Don't even act like you didn't just text me and say they went down the mountain. Because you did. Uh, I'm not the one that's been looking at the app all day, watching their progress. I'm excited. That Let was me kinda, have my moment. Listen, that was kind of <laughs> creepy to watch them, like, where they was at. Or... Sean, they do that so you know when they're close to your house, to your home. Mama's weird, ain't she, buddy? Am I in your way? As he stands in the window, Phil. <laughs> You're just as creepy right now. <laughs> I'm getting footage. <laughs> Sure you are. Wait, why are you like? He's, there they are. He's got this big cheesy yeah. smile. Oh, I hope they can get that big old truck done in here. Honey, FedEx and UPS comes up in here. Does UPS come up in here? Uh, they did until last week. Y'all, be, we've been waiting on a couple packages from UPS. One of them's got to do with my printer up there because my printer is throwing prints from the sh computer to the printer super slow, so I had to buy a high-speed cable. They won't even bring it to us. 
I'm so happy. We have not had a bedroom suit. Oh, so you're going like, to leak ever. the surprise before? Oh, Kiki's about to freak out. Here she comes. Look at her. <laughs> oh, yeah, she's going to trip. Kiki. You guys, <laughs> we put that twin mattress, the one we had for people that stayed all night out on the back porch, and her hair stood up. She's freaking out because she, I think she thinks we're moving again, and she's like, not happening. Yeah, she's tripping. We are home. I think I got a ghost on me or something. Uh-oh. I see a movement of a big truck. Dude, I'm telling you, it's going to be tight for them. I know. It is going to be tight. There's two trees. There's one right here, and then a stump of another one on the other side. It makes it really tight. Yeah. Getting up here to the house. Like, we're, <laughs> we're snugged away. Oh, I see them moving. I see them coming. They're coming in hot. Well, honey, I told you. you well, he slowed it down there. He's like, whoa, During wait a minute. Christmas, they was delivering in U-Hauls and got up in here. Yeah, it's a little bigger in a U-Haul. That's a tight spot okay, right there. Okay, got it. Yay, there's the bed. Woohoo. Are you excited, bud? You don't even know what's going on. I know Mama is. Oh, I'm very excited. I'm so thankful and happy. Oh, my gosh. I need to go out there Yay! and maybe tell them they can back up to this door. Here, I'll turn it well, over. Well, honey, I don't think they're going to back up. <laughs> I don't know how they're going to get turned around. Here, bud, you got to do something. These youngins, too. If I got to hold them. Come on, bud. Okay, you guys, they are here. We're going to let them work, get it set up, and then we'll show you when it's done. Let's try it out the most. Wow. 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 Oh my goodness. I mean, it, it's gonna take a minute to get you. Look at this. Yeah. Like, we have been so low to the floor. On This is gonna take a minute to get used to. <laughs> oh, yeah. For sure. Oh, I love it. The wood. It smells so good. Oh, Buddy, what do you think? We still gotta take all the plastic and stuff off of it. Doug, I don't know how to thank you. So, I am just saying it. Thank you so much. This was a. It's a. It's I don't amazing. even know. It yes. was a. It was. I, a, I don't, I don't know, how, know how to react situation for sure. How thankful and grateful though. But this don't goodness. happen every day, y'all. This was. No. Doug bought us. I don't want to say his last name. I don't want to put him out there like that. But he's watching. I know he is. Yeah. And Doug. Thank you, man. I mean, so much. this is crazy. This is the, the set Megan looked at that had the dovetails. and Oh, I see a little Moo Moo getting stuff already. Can I have that, girl? The thing about this bedroom suit was it's solid wood. I mean, it is built to last. I thought and the boys was going to have an aneurysm carrying it in. Yeah, it, it's heavy. Like, me and Sean was just trying to wiggle the footboard piece around. I was like, oh, my goodness. The thing about this bedroom suit, what got me, you know, I love dovetail, period. I used to redo furniture, if a lot of y'all don't know that. And that was, I would hunt pieces like that down because, you know, most of the time, that is your built to last furniture. As I've always said, every decision we make, especially with a purchase like this, we have our children in mind. I knew this set would last long enough to pass down to one of them. They would be able to use it. So that was why my heart was so very set on this set. Getting that phone call a couple of days after we'd been over there and they were like, hey, you know, Doug called and got you guys this bedroom suit. We were like, oh my gosh, I just, so very thankful and so very blessed. I don't even know what to say. I think this bed needs to go that way a little more. Yeah, it does. I'm it like, can go this way quite a bit, actually. Oh my goodness, Colton's helping me, Mama. He's over here, he's helping me. <laughs> oh, and you guys, this right here. Humongous drawers under the bed. All those blankets that you've overrun in the closet can now go under the bed. Yeah, they'll have to be folded neatly, let's say. But... <laughs> It's, it's so gorgeous. I love it so much. Right there, right there. I told them when I used to redo furniture that I would like hunt pieces like this down. Mm -hmm. you yeah, know? and I had to carry <laughs> I don't know how many back breaking pieces of furniture basically by myself. Listen, y'all. Oh, I had it bad. I had it bad because I made Sean, we picked up 
one night i found this piece great deal solid wood and very old and was great condition in tennessee about three and a half hours from us and she's like we're moving if you want it you have to come get it tonight so it's dark and i'm like sean get up we're going to tennessee and honey he got up and we went all the way to tennessee that night and got that piece of furniture because they were moving the next day to be gone uh -huh. and uh, all the way down there and got it and i ended up sanding it down to the wood restaining it redoing everything and sold that piece for a good little chunk of money it was gorgeous it was a huge vanity beautiful but yeah you better not be sanding and painting on this or oh this won't be tough what were you looking at the snow yeah we got a coating of the white stuff again y'all yeah unfortunately so now here's the question what, what do you think about the new bed i love it Okay, now what about I the mattress? I love the bedroom suit. Thank you, Doug. And I, the mattress is awesome. I called and slept till nine o'clock. That never happens. So this is a few days later, guys. And most y'all know what happened. And it's, it's been a time, but the Lord's gonna get us through it as he always does. That I have faith in. But I'm gonna show you the, one more time. There's our messy bed. Now, some of y'all know we was having a problem with this mattress. It's not the same now. We uh, actually switched. There we got us a, a purple. And let me tell you, it's like laying on a cloud. I truly don't believe if it wasn't for you guys that left the comments about the purple mattresses, we probably wouldn't have been on a purple because this woman was dead set against a purple mattress. For years, I've been saying, hey, I, I've seen nothing but good stuff about these mattresses. And little mama was like, yeah, I don't want to sleep on that grid or whatever. Every morning now is like, I love my bed. I love yeah. my bed. She says it's so comfortable. It is. And that's not a paid anything. We'll keep you posted within the next couple months of how we feel about this mattress, how we sleep on it. But as of right now, no back pain whatsoever, no hip pain, no pain at all it's just you lay down you go to sleep and it's love and we really need a lot of sleep right now do you like it buddy oh. you like it you slept to 9 30 this morning i had to come in there and get you up he is hooked on little people y'all all right guys we're gonna jump off here we're gonna leave you until the next video we are going to get back at it because I know that's what Jason would want us to do because he was so proud of us. It was every everything we ever posted, whether it was a, a video, he a short, everything. a picture, he shared everything. He was so proud of what we've done and where we come from that I know he would not want us to quit, and that he wants us to push forward in his memory. Guys, we love you all, and until the next time. Stay positive, guys. Stay country. Stay true to your roots. Bye.